Britain's most advanced train became a national laughing stock overnight, but then came the worst PR disaster of all. On December 7, 1981, the APT made its grand debut, a high-profile trip from Glasgow to London, packed with journalists. But instead of wowing the world, the train broke down in front of the press. Passengers felt motion sickness. Newspapers ran headlines like Queasy Rider. Britain's most advanced train became a national laughing stock overnight. The next day, the APT suffered more failures, and it was clear that the train wasn't ready for full service. The government lost faith, and within four years, the APT project was completely scrapped. Here's the twist. Britain abandoned the APT, but other countries saw its potential. Italy's Fiat Ferroviaria took British Rail's tilt technology, refined it, and launched the ETR 450. The Class 390 Pendolino, used on the West Coast Main Line, was designed in Italy using tech stolen from the APT. The irony? Britain had to buy back the very technology they had invented. The APT wasn't a failure, it was just ahead of its time. If given just a few more years, it could have been one of the best high-speed trains in the world. Instead, poor funding, bad PR, and government neglect killed Britain's chance to lead the world in train technology. Today, only one APT remains, preserved at the Crew Heritage Centre, a reminder of what could have been.